Before I start to talk about um, Persecuted Serenade, I want to say about brief history of the harp. The early history of the harp has been created based on the iconography of ancient peoples. Like most ancient information, the early history of the harp is not definite. There are many debates amongst historians about the origins of the harp. However, most historians agree that the earliest evidence of the appearance of the harp is around 3,300 BC in ancient Persia, which was Iran. And it is known that Islamic travelers brought the harp as far west as Spain. So I would say personally that origins of the harp is from Middle West and Far West. Of course, Africans developed many different types of the harp, and um, lots of harp music were developed by Western country composers. Um, I'm going to talk about Percy Kelly. He was an American composer and pianist and teacher. He was one of the major figures in American music of the 20th century, both as a teacher and a composer. And he wrote the important book about the harmony, 20th century harmony, creative aspects and practice. Um, when, you see, when you heard the piece was sectional, it could be divided as eight movements, and it's very short. Every movement are short. I will go by from the first movement. <coughs> As you heard, the piece started D flat major, and there is no tonality in Persichetti's music, but they are full, full of new ideas compared with Damas' music, because Damas' music is traditionally uh, composed. The way is very idiomatic for the harp composition, but compared with Damas, Persichetti used lots of effects that pedal slice, which you heard, and he was one of the composer who was who was um, uh, affected by Salzedo. Salzedo influenced him through his notation. I would like to mention about the Salzedo. He was a composer and great harp harpist, but he was important harp method innovator. He, he made important composition contributions. He invented the pedal slides, fingernail glissando, nail playing near soundboard, and various percussive effects. In his book, Modern Study of the Harp, he ex explains more than a dozen various harp effects, including alien flukes, failing hail, gushing chords, rapid whistling sounds, pedal slides, tympanic sounds, and xylophonic sounds. He influenced other composers like Berio and Bullis. And through, through this Persicetti's Serenade, there are pedal slides you heard, and fingernail sounds, and play, nail playing near the soundboard. You heard that sound. And he was also influenced by Salzedo notation, which is about the harmonics. Usually, when you want to hear, this is middle A, and if you want this sound, use a composer's notated the way uh, under this A. The Salzedo's notation was the actual, actual sound, so it was kind of special, and then Persicetti used the sound. In the movement first, first movement, the center is D flat, even there is no tonality, but composer clearly emphasizing D flat that I'm going to show. There are two motives in the first movement. The first motive is per with perfect fifth with minor second, and that motive is flute introduced. And he 
he's emphasizing, emphasizing on B flat is very clear. First of all, there are three evidences that I would like to give you. First thing is, harp starts D flat. Which is 